Welcome to the unboxing of my Insta360 X3 camera with all these goodies. Right, let's do the unboxing. So, I have bought an Insta360 X3 for my uh, motor vlogging and uh, with a bunch of accessories which I'll quickly run through now and unbox and saving the best till last. What we'll start with is the, the lens guards. Now my understanding is it is if you damage the lens on the, X, uh, on the X3, it's basically, that's it, game over. You are not going to be able to replace that. Your Insta360 camera is done. So buying these lens guards for a few tenors sounds like a, a pretty good idea. So let's start and unbox it. And let's see what we get here. It comes in this after packaging. As I said, I have not unboxed these before, so trusty scissors. We're going to use this again. And so we have the protective lens guard. Let's see. this cleaning cloth maybe yeah get on the cleaning cloth and get sort of a, a plectrum thing I think that's to uh, prise it off if you need to change the lenses when you get some new ones although they're stuck on pretty hard they do come off and so we have the the sticky ring parts that stick the lens on. So there's two sets of those. And these must be the lens guards. So we look. I'm gonna force it. Right, so this is one, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's supposed to be the second one. Unpack that. There we, well, there we go. Now that is two. Looks like they already come with a, a sticky ring on there. And I presume if you take them off with the plectrum and replace them, you have uh, some replacement sticky rings to put them on. Right, so that is the the lens guards for the Insta360 X3. I know it says one X3 here. I'm guessing it's the same size, but I will find out when I try it. Right, so put these guys aside. The next item is the, the cap. So let's see what we have in there. Hmm. Again, it looks got these stickies on the side. Could be a savage and just rip the whole box, but I think we're a bit more civilized than that. Ish. So this cap. Nothing else in here but some blurb. Just some blurb. Is to put over the lens when you're not using it. When you're putting it in a bag, you're laying it down so you don't scratch the lens. Or the lens guard, I can imagine, if I put my lens guard on. I mean, okay, they're only a couple of tenors, the lens guard, but I don't want to replace them more often than I have to. And so this guy goes over the Insta camera to protect it. Now, will this go over 
that, it looks like it does, it fits inside, when that is on the actual camera. So that is the lens guard cap, sorry, it's the lens cap. Feels very malleable, so it should be able to slide on quite easily, feels soft all the way. All right, so that's that. Insta360 logo, put that guy over there, move this one up out of the way. The next item is the battery, an extra battery. The batteries do last quite a few hours, so it may not be absolutely necessary to get one. A spare battery. But you never know. You pick yourself when you run out of power and you haven't got a spare battery. So. Let's see. So that's in that. Anything else in the box? Verbiage, as they say, in 101 different languages. case that it comes in, which is good. But if this is bouncing about on a bag of goodies on the back of the bike, you don't want the battery itself getting damaged by rubbing to other things, so to protect it, which is quite handy. Is that a simple chip storage? Could be, extra memory storage. So yeah, Insta360 logo. Opens up quite easily. I presume that's how it clips in and out from the ends there. You can see from the end. Yeah, the same there. All right. So, does it go either way around or does it go one way around? Gonna go one way around. Well, that's the battery. Put this rubbish away, put that aside. I'm not gonna need to unpack the memory card. I think we all know what these things are. So I've got a 64 gig. I bought it with a bundle, so I'm hoping that it's the correct specification for transfer speeds. So uh, I shouldn't have any problems there. I remember when I was buying the extra memory for the uh, GoPro, uh, my Hero 10 Black. I had to make sure I was buying the one with the correct uh, numbers on there, V30, blah, 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 the various bits and pieces on there. So I had to make sure I got one that was a, of the correct speed and capacity. But anyway, that's the memory. And then the the selfie stick. Put it in the box. Have a look in there. And of course, as we all know, the Insta360 has a selfie stick hide feature, which is really, really nice. Really good. So, that is the other thing. Just screw a bit at the top for the Insta camera. And the bottom for presume some legs, tripods maybe, or something. I was thinking whether I could actually screw that into the uh, mount on the handlebars, but I was thinking if this was extended all the way with the camera at the top, which is quite a weighty little thing, I wouldn't trust that to hold the whole thing in place. I'd have to buy a clamp, I reckon, that would grab this from here. Also, maybe to give it extra uh, stability with a clamp as opposed to just mounting the whole thing from the end it'll rattle like crazy so these are supposed to be extendable yeah here we go it's quite tight actually which is probably a good thing you don't want it collapsing on you know at high speed and shrinking in so yeah More than a meter. Yeah, that's 
good firm uh, action there. Cool, so that's the selfie stick. A little bit of the rubbish. And now, one last item. I also purchased another clamp to go on the handlebars of the motorbike. Now this is what I was talking about. That, that goes on the handlebars there, and that goes there. And I didn't fancy putting the selfie stick on that with the Insta camera at the end and expect it. That little screw there to hold that whole thing. So I wouldn't trust that. I put the Insta camera at the end here straight away, absolutely, onto the handlebars, but I wouldn't trust at the end of the selfie stick with that. I'm going to try it, of course, but I don't trust it. Yeah, nah. I mean, it'll do it, obviously, but do I trust it? I'd rather get a, another clamp to hold that. There. So anyway, that's the selfie, that's the clamp, Insta will go on the end here, absolutely no problem. So that's that. There's Insta360. So we have the box, shrink wrap still, uh, there's features listed on the outside here, waterproof to 10 meters, 5.7k 360 capture, and many other features, which I'm sure you've seen in other videos, and I may cover uh, later when I actually do some trials with this and see what it comes like. So in the box, I say the Insta360, I say the charging cable, the protective pouch, verbiage, and a lens cloth. So let's get in there, have a look. smaller than I thought it was going to be, but not a bad thing. That's the item itself. Two cameras back and front. It comes with this shipping lens on here. Protective lens, protective shielding, just for shipping, as does the, the screen. And I think the battery as well. So we can maybe take that one off and show the actual connect battery there. I won't get rid of this just yet, I'll read it later, so I'll stick it on there. But there was the pinches to pop the battery out, as we saw with the spare. It just clicks in. My understanding that this SIM card, memory card, yeah, slots in the bottom there. Which I will do. And I believe these two notches on the sides here are the microphones. And it's power on. That's for, I think that's Q for the quick menu. And that's a little LED, I think, for showing it's recording or power on or whatever and whatnot. Probably the same at the front here at the bottom. So I guess that another microphone. And that's like the menu navigation buttons. So I don't know if there's any juice in it. Let's give it a go. Oh, a light's come on. Okay, English. We download the app, etc. Which I will do. Can I uh, just get rid of that? Okay, 
There we go. And what's off? Off again. So yeah, quite a little weighty little thing, so I was right to think that I wouldn't fancy that rattling around on a over a meter length selfie stick being held by that little bit of thread from the handlebars. So that's the camera. Anything else in the box? Have a look. Comes in this section here. Let's get this open. Push in, push out, pull up, pull down. What's this for? Yeah, don't know what that's for. It's like from here. So we have, I believe, the USB power lead. USB C, USB A, I believe. So that's all that into there. Yeah, don't need that. Okay, a little pouch, protective pouch, always have to protect your investment on these expensive bits of kit. So yeah, it's the 360 logo, what's that? I'm supposed to use it really inside, is it? Is that light on for? Anyway, we'll figure what I want later. Let's put that into here. Seems a, a tight fitting. Yeah. Okay, go all the way in. Yeah. So that should be the power. Can't see any use for that being power. Power what? Power do what? But anyway. That's very useful protection. As I said, if you have a, a bag with all your action goodies and accessories, and they're bouncing about in the, the back of a rucksack or the back of a, in a pannier on your motorcycle, you really want all these things nicely protected until you get to where you're going and to use them. So this is very, very useful. Anything else? Something like that. Quick guide, blah blah. Waterproofing, what to know. My stand is there is an old waterproof cage that you can buy for the uh, 360X3, which is looks like it's recommended if you are really going to film lots of underwater stuff. Warranty blurb, safety guidelines. Ooh, a couple of stickers. And I presume this is the screen clean cloth. Yeah. Yeah. So we take all the rubbish out of the way. We actually have the charger, camera, cloth, and verbiage. So yes, yeah, so thank you for watching uh, this unboxing and uh, I'll be using this on the motorcycle real soon. Uh, I challenge myself to do a, a ride out before the end of March, this is March 2003, and, uh, and start using the GoPro and my Insta360 to get some motorcycle footage. Hopefully this spring 2003 onwards, I'll get out there more and more and experiment with all this new technology. So I've never had one of these before, it's going to be interesting how we get along with it. So thank you very much for watching, please subscribe, uh, 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 like on this video and uh, tinkle that bell as well and so that you will receive uh, a notice whenever I post a new video, which hopefully the next one will be another ride out. So Thank you very much, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.